University Public Arts Foundation. Let's give it all a round of applause. Thank you all for being here. Uh, my name is Michael Atkins. I'm the executive director of the Atlantic City Arts Foundation. And just from the bottom of my heart, thank you all for being here today. It's a beautiful day to celebrate the arts and to celebrate community together. Um, I would love to just take a moment. Uh, please uh, reserve your round of applause until I get through each of these sponsors. But there's a number of people we'll be, I'll be thanking today. And these are the ones who made both this art and the event possible. That would be the New Jersey CRDA, Casino Reinvestment Development Authority. Our friends at the Midtown uh, Community Development Corporation are also sponsors here today. Also, the, thank you, yes. The Castiello Phil, uh, Philanthropic Foundation, thank you. Uh, Kitten and Puff as well. And uh, we'll thank our presenting sponsor in a second. But please give a large round of applause for each of those four sponsors. They're really crucial to supporting arts and artists in Atlantic City and making it possible for us to have this time here together. Uh, we have a very brief program. Uh, I just have a few speakers that I'd love to have share their thoughts. And we're honored to have Council Member Kaleem Shabazz, Vice President of the Atlantic City City Council, uh, and a deep supporter of the arts, representative of, of the third ward in Atlantic City. Um, and I was just talking with him and Evan and expressing that uh, 10 years ago, Council Member was someone who really understood the arts would be a part of Atlantic City's reawakening. Uh, and so I'd like to welcome Councilmember Kaleem Shudaz up here to share a few thoughts with us, please. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brother Atkins. Uh, let me say, uh, let me ask uh, to please be excused. Uh, right now, uh, we're getting ready to have a get out to vote rally at St. James Amley Church, which is up the street, it's also in my district. We all know the importance of the election coming up, and I would just encourage everyone, everyone to vote, no matter who you vote for, our democracy only works when we have an engagement of everybody. So please vote. Please vote. For the arts, let me say, I think one of the reasons that I am a supporter of the arts, in addition to the fact that I know the arts increases the quality of life in any community, and it beautifies our community, I think I'm a frustrated artist because I can't draw a straight line. But I appreciate the art. I was telling the artist here uh, how great her work is. All of the murals across Atlantic City have increased the beauty and the quality of life in Atlantic City. And let me say I appreciate each and every one. I am so glad that we've got to 100, and let's go for another 100 murals in Atlantic City. <laughs> When people's surroundings are clean and safe and beautiful, it uplifts their spirit. It makes people want to contribute and be a part of it. The clean and safe part, that's on those of us who are elected. And I'm telling you that we are working very diligently on that. The beauty part is on the artists and you. And we are working to support you. Let me say that the council members and the administration are united around the concept of more art in Atlantic City. More art in Atlantic City. More art in Atlantic City. The council and the administration are in lockstep and complete agreement and consensus on that. I salute all of the artists. I thank all of the sponsors. I lift up your new director and the board and say that we are with you and I have to leave because I have to get you to get out to vote rally but please remember to get out to vote. Thank you very much. Let's hear it for Council Member Shabazz. Thank you very much. It's only with a, a strong working relationship between nonprofits and governments can we actually work to better the community and to create those opportunities for artists. So thank you. Uh, I'd like to right now recognize a man who wears a number of hats, um, Evan Sanchez. He is the vice chair of the Atlantic City Arts Foundation. He's the co-owner of Cardinal uh, and is our presenting sponsor as well through Thrive AC. Um, Evan, I just want to say thank you. This man deserves a very big round of applause. Please give him the biggest one you've got. Good evening. 
my name is, as Michael said, Evan Sanchez, and uh, I'm here for a few reasons. It's true, I'm the co-owner co of Cardinal Restaurant, where you're at today, uh, with my business partner, Zena Shaw, and Michael Brennan, who's probably back there making things happen. Thank you to Michael and the team here at Cardinal. I'm a co-founder of the Orange Loop, the area of redevelopment here that Cardinal resides, the three beach blocks of New York, Tennessee, and St. James. A shout out to uh, Zena Shaw, my business partner on all things here in Atlantic City. He's here today, too. I'm the vice president of Atlantic City Arts Foundation. Uh, Monica Casiello is here today. Casiello uh, Philanthropic Foundation is one of the sponsors. Thank you to Monica, other board members, and the team, to Michael here. I'm the co founder with my wife, Kelly Rand, of Thrive AC Fund. Uh, the funder here, one of the funders of this incredible 100th mural by Manuela Guillen and her team of artists. Thank you to you, Manny, and your team. I'm also a proud Mexican-American honoring Hispanic Heritage Month with Manuela's mural. I want to shout out to Christian from Pueblo Unido and his team and um, so many people that made this happen from our community today. But ultimately, I'm here because I visited the first ever program put on by the Atlantic City Arts Foundation, Arteriors, on Beach Block, Tennessee Avenue, in August of 2015. If you know, you know. I was just one month after moving back to Atlantic City from New York City. I was inspired by a pop-up art exhibition in a vacant building on a beaten down block in what Councilman Shabazz used to refer to as the dead zone of Atlantic City. To develop with a community-based focus what is now called the Orange Loop. One of the most vibrant and inclusive stretches of the city, these three beach blocks of Tennessee, New York, and St. James over the past 10 years. My desire to build a better Atlantic City, one concept at a time, one building at a time, one block at a time, stems from the important work of the Atlantic City Arts Foundation. Councilman Shabazz once said, creative venues are crucial to Atlantic City's development. I couldn't agree more. The Orange Loop has hosted many arteriors and is home to several of the murals that, you, that have been here for the, this one of the 100th. And we plan to do more, a lot more. Creatives, creative venues, and creativity in general are crucial to the future of our city. I'm proud to continue to invest in artists and public arts in my hometown to inspire all of us to build a better Atlantic City. Thank you, Manuela, and your team for creating a masterpiece here at Cardinal in the heart of the Orange Loop in the great city of Atlantic City. I am forever grateful. Thank you. Mr. Evan Sanchez, thank you again. So we're here to celebrate the 100th mural, artist Manuela Guillen. I'd like to also take a moment and thank the other supporting artists uh, who worked on this project as well. Uh, these artists working with Manuela included Randy Barbin, John Morris, Lou Hemler, Linda Fernandez, and Sammy Kovnat. Please give these artists a round of applause. They're all tremendously creative individuals. They worked their tails off to make this done in a quick and speedy manner as well, uh, under Manuela's guidance. So without further ado, I'd love to invite Manny up to come and share with us. Please step right up and give this woman a grand round of applause. Wow, what a crowd. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Manuela. Um, I want to thank everyone for just joining us on this beautiful day, this beautiful Indigenous Peoples Day. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't honor and thank the land we are on, which is Lenape land. Uh, from here, from here in the shores of New Jersey to Philly to New York, part of New York and Philly, um, I. Also, want to think of, I want to think about as we're closing Hispanic Heritage Month. Tomorrow's the last day, which not really because we celebrate Latino culture every day. But um, <laughs> I um, 
I'm very honored uh, to hear that I, you know, was selected for the 100th mural. Um, Atlantic City has been such a special place to me. Um, before I jump into that, I do want to give my thanks to just the many hands that made this very possible. Uh, first off, I would like to thank the Atlantic City Arts Foundation. I've worked with them for almost a decade. Um, a special thank to Evan, to Lauren, and especially to Michael, who really is a breath of fresh air in the city. Uh, one of the best executive directors I've worked with. Um, uh, I also want to thank my amazing artist assistants. They're not just any artist assistant. They are powerful, beautiful people who really are, are they're going to blow up, y'all. Like, they're blowing up. Like, definitely have a chance to talk to them as well. Uh, they came, this project had a, a quick turnaround, and they jumped on board the minute I asked them. So, thank you, Lou. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Linda, Johnny. Sammy, um, thank you so much. Your support. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be the artist I am today if I didn't know y'all. Um, I also want to thank so many things, but definitely Cardinal. Uh, everyone here has been so kind. They have fed us. They fed me and my team, which got got us speeding through this project. Um, so. Uh, I started painting in Atlantic City 10 years ago, a decade ago, and I feel like this is like some full math circle where this is the 100th mural. And wow, like I would have never imagined like a young Manuela creating art to have this type of value celebration. I mean, I was making murals for free and for like 200 bucks. Like, and here I am like being, you know, it's just, I really, I might cry, but, um, I feel like me and Atlantic City have grown simultaneously. I mean, we were like, Evan had mentioned, like there was like a dead block. Like literally I was working on some of these murals in some really rough areas and just seeing like this simultaneous growth, like me as an amateur artist and Atlantic City starting out and like we made it to a hundred murals. Like we both like are like successful artists like I feel like Atlantic City she deserves flowers so that's why this piece has dozens of flowers and to everyone here who keeps on dreaming and growing and knows the potential of Atlantic City I know how special you are because you really see the value in this place and the people so thank you everyone for always dreaming and always growing and thank you for being here Fantastic experience on my part to get to meet and know Manny while they were working on this project with their team, connecting with them. And I just want to really underline that even further, which is that Manuela was really a, a, a great choice for a 100th mural because of her own journey of growth uh, and stepping into her own creativity. So we're proud of you, Manuela. We're proud of the Atlantic City Arts Foundation. We're proud of this milestone. We're proud of this community that spent time with us today, but spends time every day supporting arts and artists. Uh, trust me, I've been on this job for just a few weeks, but I hear it every day, and that's an incredibly um, motivating uh, factor. So, so I just want to acknowledge those things. Before we close it out here, I do want to just do a few more thank yous. Uh, others have said so, but we owe a big round of applause to Mr. Michael Brennan and Cardinal Restaurant. Some people may not know this, but he lent his own blood, sweat, and tears to also help us get this scaffolding built. And, uh, you know, is just an all-around great guy and someone who contributes every day his culinary arts and talents with his remarkable team at Cardinal to Atlantic City. Uh, I also want to thank uh, El Pueblo Unido Atlantic City, Christian, uh, and acknowledge that we have Queen, if you didn't get an empanada yet, make sure you do so as soon as possible. We have the award winning of this year's empanada fiesta, Queens, uh, uh, providing their empanadas here for us today. And, and Christian was just a great partner as well in helping us promote the event, translate materials, and was just ready to go from day one. Uh, the last thank you is our DJ team, uh, DJ Sanpuzo. Uh, they'll be continuing, but please give them a round of applause. And uh, as we wrap it out here, you know, I, I felt I took a lot of inspiration from Manny's story. And I want us all to kind of internalize that even further. You know, everyone has something creative to contribute to their own lives or to the lives of others. And there was something really remarkable about the gift that I was able to observe that someone could go back and trace where they started in their artistic journey. So I thought fitting in observation of Hispanic Heritage Month, 
uh, that we would close out with a brief poem from Pablo Neruda. Yes. Italian diplomat. All right, we got some takers here. But this poem, I think, was special to me and something I thought about a lot about through this process because it, it really, it was a poet tracing his own initial gift and commitment to arts and creativity in their life. So I invite you all to celebrate, carry that away from here and step into your own lives, into your own creative practices, your voice, your visual arts, and more, uh, and share that with us and share that with the city. So, La Poesia. Something ignited in my soul. Fever or unremembered wings. And I went my own way, deciphering that burning fire. And I laid down my first bare lines. Bare, without substance, pure foolishness. Pure wisdom of one who knows nothing. And suddenly, the heavens opened and unfastened. So thank you everyone for celebrating with us today. Please carry creativity in your heart moving forward. And thank you to everyone who made this amazing event special. Thank you to our artists one last time. Thank you, Manuela. Always dreaming, always growing. And thank you for being here today. Cheers.